I'm Cleo. I'm here at Bronston Gate for 2010 Oxjam Festival in Leicester, and I'm here with Tim, also known as Kaboku. Kaboku is his corporate name, and I'm um, just going to find out like where are you guys based? If anybody wants to come and join in, and what is Capoeira really? Well, f first we train in Leicester, but we started some sessions also in um, uh, Northampton. So we're trying to sort of do sessions throughout the East Midlands. But our main centre is in Leicester. We, and I would say if people want to try it first, probably it's best to come on the Monday session at the Leicester YMCA, which is just off of the, the train station, Leicester train station. And we train there from seven till nine, and it's open to all levels, beginners and all, even masters if they want to come and train. So it's open for everybody. So for say somebody that doesn't know what Capoeira is, what would be a brief description of it? It's, uh, it's easier to watch, I think, than explain, but it's really, it's a Brazilian martial art that um, started about, I mean, four to five hundred years ago. People don't really know exactly, but it was started off by the um, African slaves that were brought into Brazil um, by the Portuguese Empire. And the theory is that on a Sunday, every Sunday, they weren't allowed to um, work, I mean, so because so, it was a religious day, basically. So every Sunday, all of these slaves um, who came from di different tribes and different locations from South America as well, um, they would sit together in a circle and each one of them would show the rest what sort of fighting rituals they had, even religious rituals and that sort of thing, because they thought that it was something that they should share and create their own culture because they're all suffering the agony of slavery together. So they should sh uh, try and um, uh, sort of, um, if you like, join forces, if you like, with all the, join all of their cultures and, and be sort of as one, as it were. And this is how Capoeira emerged. And the idea behind it is that they, they, they would um, practice how to fight and everything, but with music, etc. so it makes it look as if they were dancing, because they weren't allowed to fight. So it was basically, they were pretending that they were dancing, so everybody, you know, the Portuguese, or you know, if you like, their, their owners would look at them and say, oh, these guys are dancing, but in reality, they were actually fighting. So it was disguised as a dance, as it were. And this tradition probably is still alive and with us today. So that's how we practice it here. That we, we, we practice how to do all the kicks and everything. And, but we also do all the music and we sing and we always you know, have a good time basically. It's like a party. <laughs> awesome. So how long have you been practicing? I, I started about 12 years ago. I've been training for 20, 12 years. Yeah. So So a bit of a master then, really? A bit of a, sorry? A bit of a master. Oh, no, no, no. Because my master, my teacher is a master and he's been doing it for 45 years. So I'm like... Still got a way to go. Yeah, a few, a few more years, yeah. <laughs> but it's great fun anyway. I mean, that's the thing, because it's not, I mean, there aren't any standards as such. It's all improvised. I mean, this is the arts part of it, if you like. So even if you're a beginner, you can still actually play. It doesn't have to be, like, you don't have to have perfect kicks or perfect acrobatics. You can just, you know, you can combine what you know and still play and hustle. And you, if you see these guys, we've got really experienced guys and we've got absolute beginners, but you see all of them will be playing and singing and just enjoying themselves. And that's what Capoeira is all about. Awesome. So if somebody wants to get involved and find you, it's the Y Theatre. Do you have, say, a website or a contact or anything like that? We've got a website. I mean, if, if people know how to spell Capoeira, they can put on Google Capoeira Leicester. We'll be right on the first. But um, the website is uh, Sinzala, which is S-E-N-Z-A-L-A, Midlands. Dot com. So that's that's our website. It has all the details there. Wonderful. I hope you'll all be checking this out because these guys are really cool.